Let's get the booty. We're here. I, I quickly party. wipe all the blood off myself, <laughs> and then I get into the cockpit. All right. So you guys are still parked at the pirate safe haven, docked there. Fancy has tried to make some explosive rounds, blew off crew mate's hand, and then got help and successfully did that. And now you guys are ready to take off. I just want to make sure everyone's like in the optimal positions, like on the ship. Aye, yeah. aye captain. That's the captain's <laughs> shit. To take off, I need engineering roll first. So we're out there's no shields, right? They're on, but I don't have to work them right now, right? Because we're in a yeah, yeah, quote unquote safe a, zone. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start the ship. Oof, a seven. You power it on, but you are in like the mixed power, low power setting. So there's a one in four chance that a system isn't going to function until you get back into the high power. Field. And our ship's back to good, right? 100. Yeah, you guys fixed yeah, it's it well. before, like two games. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna stay on engineering. I'm gonna put. Wait, is Maria just just knows engineering, or she has a plus one in in intelligence? She just knows engineering. She's trained to a plus one on engineering. Okay, never mind. We'll keep her here. But also, I'm gonna stay here for another round to try to fix it. Okay, are you guys gonna wait, or are you gonna start operating other systems with suboptimal power? I mean, um, everything's um, still going to work, right? Nothing's going to come out? Oh, we have a one and four. Amy, we're going to need a scan. Okay, you go to uh, the helm and try to apply thrusters, and the ship doesn't respond. And the oh, helm shit. is giving you no Engines malfunctioning. Okay, so... You can roll again. It's just going to take time. You know, it takes a little time for you to do it. I mean, you guys aren't really on a crunch too much right now. You can take the time to get it right and roll again. Well, Amy, can yeah. you make us like a scan of the local area? Did we travel <sighs> to the place? No, we're still here. Oh. I just want to make sure I... there's no like ships oh. targeting us right now or something Candy. before we fucking pull out of here. Securing position, <laughs> scanning perimeter, nine. So you scan the area and there's nothing of significant interest right here. There's some ships coming and going from the station, but you're well within the the space space oh. that the station counts as its own so everything space here is the space station people very much just coming and going there's no action because that would violate the rules of the area it's pretty chill around here what here is not what it appears to be. you look out uh your sensors over at the other ship that was parked there that was you guys had combat with before. It's being repaired. It was being repaired, but it's not as damaged as it looks to. Be. Captain Pepperoni, pirates in proximity. We're pirates. Everyone's pirates. What are you talking about? The other pirates <laughs> from earlier. Yeah, I know. We saw them at the bar. Amy scan. Amy, Amy provide get get, intel. Get, get back in the ship. <laughs> Amy will comply. I'm going to roll again for engineer. Let's do this. 12. We're good. It's on. Spency, we're good. Let's get out of here. I'm going to go and head to the guns if there's pirates in That's a 13 for piloting. All right. You guys pull away quite gracefully from the station and are out in the space and it's in the asteroid field and you're rolling casually past the churning asteroids. If you want to figure out where you're going, I need an astrogation roll. Plotting course to what is destination? I don't know. Off course space station that we're going to loot. Directing to objective location. <laughs> Bye. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it, Amy. <laughs> You plot a course that you believe to be accurate. My mark experience. It's space, so we'll, we, we don't fucking know until we get there. God damn it. Cool. So you <laughs> get this astrogation data at the, at the helm and begin to pull out of the asteroid field. As you pull out of the asteroid field, you get hail at like the edge of the asteroid. Incoming communications, oh Captain. An answer, Amy. Amy. This is put some sass into it. This is Drago Azul. Who is uh, who is you? Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, are you? You're the passing ship. We we need assistance. We've lost power. And we we're, are we're here to, get... to party. Okay, are you the? Is this the captain I'm talking to? It's kind of a I Captain mean, Pepperoni. Captain Pepperoni. Okay, nice to meet you. We're we're derelict at the moment. And we, we are really here use... to party. Uh, I think this might be a recording. I am artificial <laughs> mobility intelligence. Yeah. Okay. Initiating so... docking procedure. Excellent. Thank thank you. Thank <laughs> you so much. I really appreciate it. And Abby just looks over at Enzo and is 
And, and it was just like, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> is that transmission over? Lay down yeah. your weapons. We have no power, so we cannot uh, activate the weapons we have. We, we're running on auxiliary power right now. It's just maintaining this communication and, and, and our life support system. I'm going to scan <laughs> their ships and hopefully get a better roll. <laughs> Yeah, scan those motherfuckers. Ooh, double dude. sixes. All right. Oh, here we go. You Ooh, know, yeah. know yeah. fucking serial numbers, bro. Cool. So you <laughs> scan this ship. This ship is a transport ship, uh, older model like you'd see out here in the mining. It does not have a very significant power signature. The reactor's off. Um, it does seem to be full of some kind of cargo in its bay that is like a crystalline rock. And it is, you were able to discern that that is probably of value. That's their cache in the ship. I send all this information, drags up. Does it, can you scan to see if their reactor is really down? He, you know it's off. That's what you know. That's, that's okay. the most you can learn. Like it has no, the power signals are really low. We're off, okay. they're, they're not, they're not communicating with us anymore, right? Like the channel's cut? Yeah. Sure. Okay, so I'm open channel to you know just the, us four. So how do you guys want to play this? And we, we should we should uh, take caution, but uh, if we can get that booty, we gonna take the booty. How big is the ship? Does it look very big? Yeah, it's a little smaller than your ship. It's not as big as your ship, and most of its space is cargo hold. So it's like a small cabin area that maybe has a crew of five people, maybe or less. And then a big cargo hold that's jam packed with some kind of valuable crystalline material. Go over on our little four way call and go. I'm ready at the door to enter whenever you're ready. I uh, I trip over and I go, hang on, let me give you some backup real quick. One second. Hey, hey, Spency, don't kill nobody. All right. I'm not, not gonna kill nobody. You gotta agree before you start killing people. Right. Also, should we do come in like overwhelming force with like all of our dudes then should i just hide and you know just in case things goes down i you know extra support or should i just uh support spency here it would be nice to have extra intimidation okay all right all right so i, I pull out my laser axe and i'm ready i'm kind of like you know like tapping it in my hand like ready to go somebody needs to make the docking roll to pilot the ships together so i guess that's oh. amy now since spencer's in. so now i'm gonna say amy Good call. Let's dock. I'll meet you guys down by the loading dock after Let's Spence dock and rock. After Spency next us. Okay, so everybody's in the cargo hold, ready, to, except for Amy, who's he's doing the docking, right? Is that what I'm assuming? Yeah, I'll, I'll hold is the Amy going to do, or is Spency going to come back to the to the bridge? Yeah, I'll run back to the bridge. Just, okay. There could, or there <laughs> could be a like a remote terminal by the airlock for you know for fine control when you're <laughs> aligning your your. Airlock sure. tunnel. Okay, so you're all in the airlock area. I want to go. Yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah, I, I guess because we were pulled up right next to the ship. We so put like, yeah, Conway I, I on the playing. helm. Conway's got one hand, and he's in the no. medical bay <laughs> with some significant uh, trauma. What did you do to Conway? <laughs> Conway was trying to help me make explosive bullets. His hand blew up. Oh, poor Conway. Amy has a new objective: to find a hook. <laughs> Spencer, what'd you, roll, what'd you roll on the dock? 11. Okay. Cool. So you get the ships lined up and you all go down there and you're extending the docking arm. And as it hits the other ship to dock, a pulse of energy on the other ship is triggered and energy runs through their cargo, the large crystals in the back, and the ship explodes and a hail of crystal against the side of your ship. The crystal, as activated, immediately knocks out the ship's shields. And you guys are going to take hull damage equal to whatever I roll here from this explosion. You take eight damage to the ship. The shields are down. Klaxons start to ring. And uh, this is because there was an unresolved fail from Quest. I knew it could be nothing good. So what do you do? The ship docking arm has been blown off the side of the ship. You guys are still sealed where you are, but there is severe hull damage on this side of the ship now. I'm running to shields. Cool. So you're all you're running to shields. I assume and, that she's running back to the con. Yeah. I, as I'm running to shields, I'm going to call Azul or not call, but like talk to Azul and tell it to mm -hmm. shoot anything that's moving out there. 
There is a moment of pause and then the ship quakes again and you guys take another hit of damage and then you hear the gun start to fire in retaliation. And I'm going to roll for Azul. And he rolls a mixed result. And then you guys get to where you're going. So as you all get back to your stations, you see that you were in this field of this debris field from the ship exploding of this crystalline material. And there is several janky ass pirate ships coming out from around the uh, asteroids. And the one at the rear is the ship that was at the station that you guys had a previous engagement with. And you are being hailed as you're also being fired upon. And it's your guys' turn. I'm going to go first with shields. Hold on. I'm shooting. I'm going back to guns and shooting. Yes, 14. Cool. So you hit the shields and it starts to juice his energy. And as they hit the crystals, you see the shields get warped and flexed and then immediately feed back on themselves and collapse. It. Ooh, we didn't have 14. You operated the system, worked perfectly well. You were able to discern that the crystals, the, the crystals floating in space around you are the problem. The crystals are the problem. We got to get the hell out of here. Amy, um, talk to this guy. Shooting us out of here, like hyperdrive speed, fucking launching us out of this bitch. I am <laughs> whipping out of this bitch. Well, so you start to punch it out of this area, but you guys, other two players, still have a turn, uh, and you're uh, still in range of the other ships. We're beginning to move them. Nice. So you fire and break up one of the asteroids, and it forces one of the other ships to move away from you. And that ship doesn't get to fire on you guys the next. Uh, Azul is going to shoot at people. And Azul scores a glancing hit on the main uh, ship behind you. Amy, what are you doing this time? I want to navigate to the closest known outpost or settlement. Even though Spetsy's punching it out in, you know, just out of the area, I want to guide it towards some sort of haven. Okay, somewhere where they would maybe not want to start a fight in the airspace. Yes. Good thinking. Seven. You don't find anything new, but you can plot a course back to the other space station where you originally were when you talked to your other contact. And it's not super close, but it's not super far. So Spenji's punching it, and as you guys pull away, the two of the ships that can still fire at you are going to do so. So Spence, if you want to roll two defy danger piloting rolls. Wait, how many 12. hits are we at? Nine hits. Then. So they fire, they miss, which is lucky for you because you don't have shields up right now. And then it's your guys' turn. Can I try for shields again? Sure. Seven. Okay, so the shields bump up one level, so they're at the lowest level. But they're okay. What well, else people do in this too? Well, then I'm gonna shoot. If I'm allowed to shoot again, I'm shooting again. I'm shooting for right. a different asteroid for a different ship. Eleven. So you cause asteroids to turn into giving you guys some cover from you know, one of the other ships. And then I got a nine. Okay, mixed result. Well, you roll it twelve to get out last or high to get out last time. So you're able to keep your course and getting coverage from the asteroids, and you exit this area of the asteroid field and start flying up the side of the asteroid belt to where Amy gave you navigation. So at this point, you guys, because of the cover fire and your quick acting, you do get away from this little ambush. What do you want to do now? We're sitting really low right now. Yeah, do we have any way of doing repairs? Last time you t- took the resources from the other oh, ship. I'll, guys, I'll spend a whole to get resources to repair the, the hull. From your contact? Yeah. So yes, then you're able to fly to that, to, or let's say you fly towards that other space station and a small freighter meets you, drops off, off a package in space and then just keeps flying on and you guys are able to capture that and that has resources to uh, try and repair the ship. So if you wanna roll Probably Enzo, an intelligence roll to see how much repair action we're going to do. Yeah, can I get some aid just in case? I don't even want to fuck this up. Yeah, I got you. 11. All right, 14. So you were for four points of damage on Twitch. So we're at five, which isn't great, but it's a lot better than where we're at. And we don't think we can just keep moving on to the abandoned space station. Oh, oh, oh. I, I feel like we're not utilizing this crew. We just, it, it's always just us going in. I mean, yeah, if you want to send some crew in, we can send some crew in. The you robot. send the crew in first, and then like we coming up after and like clean, you know, pick off the 
stragglers. But then yeah, we don't no. have a crew to run our ship. Well, they're not all going to die. No, this ship's supposed to be abandoned. Are you guys trying to astrogate to the Yeah, we're going to we're gonna go to that place. So, Amy, can you please plot us a course? Maybe the right course this time? You never knew it was the wrong course. Well, I knew we weren't supposed to get ambushed, and I didn't see a space station anywhere. <laughs> <It was> time. <laughs> Okay, at 10, you were able to put it together. You realize you had it, the map upside down or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> or mirrored. You're like looking at it from behind the screen or something in your eyes. Your lenses are, <laughs> are backwards on you. Swip, swap the X and Y axis. Yeah, so a zero was in the wrong place. All right, Spency, let's go. Do I got to do another engineering? 12 on engineering, and then I'm going to move back to shields. Okay, so you guys fly out into... What seems to be just a vacant space around the solar system, kind of in between where planets are orbiting. And eventually, the sensors start to pick up a mass in front of you. And you can't really see it at first because it blends into the blackness of space. And it is only until you start to get pretty close, the cameras zoom in and show you, sort of half lit from the sun, far deep into the solar system, a black structure floating in space. What do you do? I scan it. Scan it. I'm also going to try and scan. circle it from a safe distance. That's uh, 11 for me. I'm not doing well tonight. I rolled Zero another, fail. I rolled another five. Cool. So as you get close to the station, it begins to fire at you. Roll. A, well, it's, it, we're in combat now. Roll a, roll a piloting check for me. I'm being shot at by the station. It's rolled an 11. Jeez. Amy was just looking. <laughs> what is it? That's an 8. That's an 8. Okay, it's roll a shield. Oh, no. That's a 7. Okay. Right. We're going to do some damage right now, aren't we? Uh, <laughs> so the shields go down a level, but you don't take any damage. And now it's your guys' turn. The station is firing at you, and you have no data on it. What do you guys want to do? Amy, what do we know about this station? Yeah, you see the wire on the top of Amy's head frying a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, enjoy your uh, fun-filled vacation aboard glib glop cruise lines take you from mercury to neptune in just three solar days emmy's close to me right yeah relatively yeah can i just try to like fix hit, her real quick hit me with a wrench yeah. Oh, yeah, you can just you... Like, like Fonzie it. But if I Fonzie it, it has to be like probably charisma. Huh? You have to be the two thumbs up. <laughs> hey. I'm going to try to fix them. Here we go. Uh, nine. Nine. Uh, you you get that shit to turn off, <laughs> and you kind of reset. Amy is now in like a reboot cycle, like trying to run a diagnosis. Calibrating. <laughs> Calibrating. Okay, so we're kind of flying blind here, guys. Spency, great flying. Let me need you to keep moving. Reggie, shoot those motherfuckers. Same thing I'm to right. Azul. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do a, a, a barrel roll. Okay. Everybody hold on to your asses. For 13. You do barrel roll. Reggie, what are you <laughs> firing at specifically on the station? There is uh, guns firing at you, but you don't know guns. much about it because you did fail to, uh, that. You <laughs> know there's guns. guns shooting at you, though. You could target the gun. That, like, is logical and makes sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. Six. Man, you guys are having terrible luck on the systems today. With a six, your system fucking locks up and the gun stops responding. Something is wrong locally on your system and you've lost control of that gun. Azul, rolling with a plus two, gets a nine and fires at the station. Maybe has done some damage to the gun. Not a, not a very great hit, but he's on more or less on target. You're still being fired at by the station, so you made a barrel roll. So I'm going to give you... Maybe a plus one to not being hit since you're doing like an evasive maneuver. Hell yeah. That's a, it's a nine. Roll your Double shields. Field. So we have high, medium. Medium, low off. Medium, low off. So we're at medium right now? Ooh, still at medium. Or no, you no, get a full no. success? Oh, now we're, we're, probably, we're at low now because I got to say. Okay. So you don't take any damage, but the, but, but the shields go to low. As you take a glancing hit from the turrets on the stage. What do you guys want to do on your turn? Oh, try to scan the station again. <laughs> What the fuck? Did you fail again? It's a crit fail. Shit, I'm leveling up. Die. I'm leveling up yeah, tonight, boys. 
Um, no. Not if we're dead. Yeah, I think I'm going to give you an upgrade to some wisdom after this game. <laughs> My wisdom is fine. I'm just rolling twos and threes. Change your dice. <laughs> These are Those the new Ami dice, dice that were rolling good. Were is the key. Were is the key <laughs> word there. Yeah, switch them up. So the some other weapon system opens on the station and you're now there are also like missiles being fired at you oh so okay. now every turn it's gonna attack essentially attack twice so what are you other people doing i'm gonna try and make a calm connection to the the station okay um are you doing that like you're hacking into it or are you calling them and being like yeah i'm, I'm just I'm, I'm just trying to call them and then still pilot uh well you can't operate really two systems yeah weird. oh is the is the phone a whole separate system yeah i mean you can talk on it i guess if it's open but if you're trying to like place a call i think you need to like stop it up the system. then i i hollered at one of the yeah you can make like, one of the boys do it yeah i was gonna say I, i'm assuming there's maybe someone like just around in the cockpit yeah. i hollered at them to make a call to the community or communicate to the center open, open up a I, communication line for you yeah. And so just, they get they get plus nothing to their rolls, and they rolled a four and a two, which is a six. Five. So at that moment, the ship gets impacted by a missile <laughs> oh, right, and yeah. takes no shield. Two damage. No shield. No shield. The missile is is a physical attack, not an energy thing, and it just passes through the shield and deals two damage to the ship. All right, I'm I'm trying to do a base of maneuvers. To get behind something so that we can't be hit. 14 for piloting. To make evasive maneuvers. Okay, you want to fly out of range? We can do that. And then nobody like gets I, to shoot at yeah. each other. Yeah. You can pull I, out of yeah. range if you want I, I to. Wanna, okay. Yeah, I want to pull out of range. Okay, you fly <laughs> away from the station and energy beams fly past you as you get out of range of their targeting systems. And they're also out of range of your targeting systems. So now you're both out of range of... Each, what do you guys want? We gotta repair the. We gotta at least like talk a game plan on how we're gonna. Yeah. This. So let's go find a spot. I mean, we're, we're just relatively. So you guys have level. seven points of damage right now, right? Yeah. Because we yeah. had nine, you healed four, and then you took two. Yeah. So we're we're seven. All right, guys. What do you want to do? Well, obviously, this place wasn't abandoned like we were told. Amy's gonna snap two from all of his terrible rolls and try to follow Spency's lead. Open a hailing frequency to the station. And see Can we they... still hail them from this distance? Yeah, communication goes further than weapons. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> Beep, boop, pop, pop. Ring, ring. Boop, pop, boop, boop, you ring, get ring. it. Answers and an automated message starts playing. You are in the airspace of a secure CD location. Please remove your ship from CD airspace, or you will be fired upon. I'm gonna go back into the computers and try to they like reinstate your old ship's credentials Shit, that's a nine so you are able to switch some of the data but there's like a crucial transponder code that is like locked off from you and you don't seem to be able to get down the firewall to, to change it and you're pretty sure that that's really what the system is reading you would have a harder time convincing it that you're the ship you're seeing. all right fellas what do you guys want to do i was able to uh change our codes to make it look like we're them but I still think they're going to be able to figure it out. It's not us. They were not them. Can I try and go in and, and hack that code myself? Sure. Kind of you like want to take a crack at it? Like, yeah. Let me see if I can do something here. Yeah. 10. All right. You make it to where Enzo was and you are able to figure it out and you unlock that part. And Enzo is able to input the other transponder code. You guys want to just go back? Yeah, let's let's we, let's hail them again and try and re-enter the airspace. Yeah, okay. Amy, try oh, wait, hailing wait, let, them. But let's but let's get shields up first. Let's get shields all the way yeah, back. Yeah, good yeah. Oh yeah, let me work with the shields. Oh, uh, I need to make some Maria rolls. I've forgotten about. Oh damn! I'm gonna Maria. make two Maria rolls. She gets an eleven and a six. Uh, you go to the shield system. And then the main power goes off and the emergency lights come on. And the ship is suddenly very quiet. So I can't and then the Maria comes over the comms and says, I think I did something wrong. All right, then I'm going to run to engineering and try to fix what Maria... 10. After a while, you guys sit floating in space, derelict for a good 15 minutes, and then eventually all the main power comes up. I don't know how that happened. Listen, and that's Maria, not her voice at all. If you want, I can give you an implant. It could help you. <laughs> Nah, nah. I saw what you did to Spency. He's never been the same since. All right. The offer's there. And then I'm going to go back to Shields. 
Okay. And nine. I'll let you put it all the way back up. It just takes a while. You guys have now spent half hour, 45 minutes just sitting in. And the space station is moving away from you slowly through space. And whatever other things I'm thinking about. Okay, so let's go back. Before we go, Emmy, can you try to hail them again? Beep, boop, boop, boop. And I hail <laughs> them with the hacked CD code. And it responds with docking telemetry. Like you just get like a data thing like, here's where you dock. Here's where you park. Docking procedures initiated. <laughs> All right, and then I'm, I'm rolling to bring us in nice and slow like a CD ship would. Okay. You, using CD, you know, maneuvers. Yeah. And 12. As you come around the station, it doesn't fire at you. Its weapons have like retracted back. You guys get a good look at it now, and it looks like it doesn't look like other CD stuff. It looks like some crazy black obelisk. Like their shit's mainly like white. They have very stormtrooper aesthetic. Everything's white, like they think of the goddamn white knight. Ominous black obelisk. And there is two landing ports, sort of on opposite sides, as it spins. And it's directing you to one, as you fly by the other, you do see that there is some vessel parked there as well. And you guys come around the vessel to the other side and dock your- Can I um, scan the immediate area for life form? Sure. The reboot worked! <laughs> so you do get some faint biological life form readings, but not as much as you, like a very small fraction of the percentage you thought you would get from such a big station. If you scanned the pirate place you were at, you would have gotten a measure of 100 times greater than what Close in the dock or near, far, or just Somewhere deep in the station. There's, okay. So minimal life forms detected. I want to spend my last hold that I have. I want to see if there's any information about this kind of station now that we're here and get maybe a schematic of the place. Okay, so you spend your hold and all you get is some redacted form, like some deep, high-level shit. And you get very little information on it, but you do learn that whatever this is, it's a lot bigger fucking deal than whatever that guy thought it. That the CD has actively hid this so well that your super advanced AI network that mostly can figure out anything, the best they can give you is a shitty low res picture of it and redacted forms where any useful information. Captain oh, Pepperoni, the space uh, station has no yes. record uh, in my database. Minimal intel provide now look over the stuff and like it's dark it's painted black right you said you couldn't even see it yeah okay like it's made to disappear into the blackness i'm thinking there's a lot more going on here than we were led to believe guys stay ready i feel the fact that no one's contacted us no one's in there or at least not able to contact us and we've seen some crazy shit so uh that we have i walk out putting uh my knife on the end of my gun and just like prepping all my gear ready to go so you guys walk out of the ship into the station? I want to take some guys with us. Let's bring like two of the most able body guys. Well, they're all going to be the same, right? So let's just bring like four of them and just literally make them stand in front of us. So you got four guys and what do you tell? Like you're in the dock. The dock is attached. You're fully docked. Spency, give one of them your, your flashlight. Oh yeah. I give one of them my flashlight. He's like, all right, boys, let's go. You lead the way. Show me uh, what you got. Roll charisma. Nine. He kind of looks at the flashlight and he looks over you like he's going to complain. And then he <laughs> looks over at Spency and then <laughs> turns towards the thing and puts the light on yeah. his shoulder and grabs the sword and slowly opens the airlock <laughs> and it opens into a station that is dimly lit by just red submarine at nighttime light and this is just a landing bay you're in there's clearly like another doorway that leads deeper into the station four guys open up and step out in the space and move the light around this space is mostly cleared out. There isn't much here. There's no other vessels parked here. There's no cargo ready to load out. It's like clean. And it's also like oversized for the station to have two of them. It's peculiar, even for a station of this size. How much were they trying to get in and out of here? Amy has the best wisdom. Can you look for like yeah. a terminal or something? Be beginning search and scan procedures. And he pretty much just told us what happened here recently. Not much. 
There is like a terminal there. All right, I'm going to try uh, to hack the terminal and find... Well, he also gets to ask me questions. What here is valuable or useful to me? And I'll say that's the terminal. And then I'm looking I'm looking for like a path. Because you said there was another dock with like a vessel in it. And I kind of want to check. You look around and able to determine that you there's one way into the station from here. And based on where it was on the station, it's opposite. The two, oh, this okay. is it's the shape the of the side. thing. It's literally on the other side because you saw it as you flew around the station and then you guys docked over here. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you know that you, to get there, you would have to cross straight across through the middle of the station. What is about to happen? You're about to have to interface with that same defensive system. And uh, you so don't know you were able to identify the ship scd none of you again. yeah warning warning captain pepperoni security protocol still engaged proceed okay. with caution i am going to try to hack the terminal and shut down security protocols actually can i have instead of shutting down security protocols i would rather it read us for as CD members and the visitors. <laughs> Is that possible? Why don't you roll your intelligence roll? Let's we'll see. Well, it's only a seven. So. You're able to get it to let you into the next room, but you can't access deep enough into the system to be able to get yourself a hall pass. All right, guys, we don't really know what we're looking for. <laughs> Let's just move um, it to the next room, I guess. Access to main corridor through here. Beep, boop, yeah, beep. I'm following in behind them. I'm, I'm just going to start rolling and try to find the other. OK, you can roll in first. Yeah. So you roll into the next room. And this room, this is a conjoining hallway that is clearly was built as a security checkpoint. There is in the middle of this room just a fucking mounted gun hanging from the ceiling. And then there is a doorway. There are two doorways on the other side of the wall. These are, these are small. They're like a person size. And you can see that they pass by what is in between them is like a booth, like clearly a security booth. And then on the other side is actually access to the state. Right now, the gun seems dormant, but all the stuff on the security booth and everything all seem to be active. With my, with my robotic Omni tool, I will go up and I want, I'm trying to steal the gun. So I'll try to disarm the trap and then take, <laughs> take the gun. Okay, roll. Double sixes. All right. Oh, critical. Okay. So you're able to get in there and you're able to first snip the data cable so that the system doesn't know you're fucking with the gun. And you're able to unmount it from its mounts and pull it down. I hand it to Reggie. Okay, Reggie. Amity, what's your strength? As you unattach it, you're trying to hold it up. Yeah. Full strength for me. It's, oh. mi it's minus three. Oh, shit. <laughs> But I rolled a 10, so that's a 7. <laughs> okay, so it comes down and it <clears throat> lands hard, but you managed to keep it from smashing into yourself. Oh, you're you cool. Didn't you got, like, damage ridiculous. It. You cannot lift tape. it up to hand it to Reggie. You try, and you cannot lift it up. I'm, like, trying to drag it over. <laughs> your, your treads are just, like, losing traction. Scraping on the ground. Why don't you roll straight, Reggie? Okay. Strong guy, huh? 11. All right, you're able to... It's a pretty sizable weapon, and it's going to be difficult to wield, but you're able to hold on. To it. I think I got it. And I'm just kind of like swaying it a little bit. I'm like, ooh. Sergeant Ano. You've taken the gun off the security system. What do you want to do now? Is Annie still moving towards the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. He just went, ooh, shiny. And now he's going to roll. So you're going to roll through the security checkpoint doorway? Yeah. So you roll through it, and it all starts going off. And the mount where the gun was turns like it's turning the gun towards you and is like tracking your location, but nothing's happening. We are here to party. <laughs> and the lights flash as you guys are all able to walk to the security checkpoint without. And since there's no guard there in the booth, it seems to be empty. You're able to walk into the next chamber. The next chamber is huge. It vaults up most of the length of the station and it surrounds this center shape, diamond-like shape that is the core of the station, clearly the most interesting part of the station. Uh, and then there's this large walk, the circular walkway that takes you all the way around uh, the whole diameter. I am gonna go look at that core because I'm a nerd. 
And that's what. It's... So it's a huge. So as you walk over to it, there is a pit, fucking Death Star style, between you and where the core is, and there is a door on the core that looks like there's supposed to be an extending bridge to let people. Yeah, I'm going to look around. Everyone's like, look around, guys. Let's see what's, what's valuable here. And then I'm going to go out and look and go extend the bridge to go look at the freaking core. So you try to operate the bridge controls and it is not allowing you access and it's asking for uh, credential. All right, I'm going to try to mess with it, try to hack it. 11. So you're going through all your CD data that you've collected and you like try to scan data from. I got a bunch of badges. I'm just. Yeah, kidding. basically. <laughs> basically. You, you like reprogramming your own badge to scan different people's data and you try and scan like the lieutenant who you dealt with originally that was on the ship you guys now control and it denies. And then you flip up to like, oh, there's the lieutenant commander that captured Julian. And you scan that and that denies. And you're like, shit. You're like, I got the captain. Julian's credentials come up and they give him full access. Exactly. You (laughs) slot in Julian's credentials. You bastards. And the bridge extends. Oh, man. It makes me hate him so much more. I'm so glad he's dead. What are other people doing? I'm trying to search around and find anything useful. Okay, roll some wisdom. I love it. You are able to break into one of the little security booths, and you, uh, let's say you pull out a use of adventuring. What's up with other people? I'm going to... I still have that gun, right? I'm going to see how it works. Like, I want to make sure, you know, I know how to operate this thing in and out. Take it apart blindfolded. I want to make sure I can handle this thing properly. Doing that in, uh, I'm going to try to analyze it, make an intelligence roll thing, or are you going to just, like, straight up try to fire it and try to get some operational experience and just open fire on something? Oh, I'm firing this bad boy. Okay, what are you going to target at? Are you going to target, like, towards the core? Are you going to fire towards the security booth? Are you going to... Try to pick a wall up. You're going to fire it up into the side of the thing. You're going to try to fire it down into the pit. You're going to fire it into a walkway. Like, what are you firing? You said there's a, there a pit. I think I'll, I'll shoot down into the pit because I feel like okay. that'll cause the least amount of damage if there is anything. Maybe I'll just shoot it into the ceiling. You kind of point up, see. So there's a hallway to the side, right? No one's down that hallway? Nothing yeah, there's like, some, like a security hallway. Yeah, I'm going to do that. No one's down there, right? No. I tell everyone to stand back. Give me some space here. I want to I wanna check out this uh, so-called gun here. So-called gun. 14. So you point out one of the security booths, and you reach down and cross some of the wires that were broken off uh, that Amy may have pointed out to you, and the thing starts spinning and pounding out energy beams. <laughs> and you fry this booth. Like, this booth, like, fucking melts. Like if people were in there, they would all be dead. You look down and there's a reticle with five dots on them, like five green lit up dots. Mm-hmm. And one goes from green to red. We should make sure this doesn't get into the wrong hands, boys. <laughs> and in these hands, they're in the right hand. I couldn't agree more. And then uh, were you doing anything? Rolling to where I think the other hangar is. Cool. I'm following you. And I grabbed Conway's friend by the wrist and I'm tracking him with it. So you snatch one of the guys and pull him off. And he's like, what the fuck? As, you know, Spence is going through a security booth, he picks up his adventuring gear, sees you rolling away, and starts to head after you. Your assistance hear, is required. You hear in the background, <laughs> Reggie be <they're> like, yeah. <laughs> and you're getting away from the party as you go around the diameter, the floor starts to block your view of the rest of the party. And you start to come around the other side and you see another entryway, security hallway, like the one you entered. Is there another the gun? You roll all over to it there is another gun mounted in the ceiling yeah i'm gonna take that shit as you roll through the security door because it's on you're on the other side of the security gate now uh-huh. you roll through the gate you would set it off yeah uh, okay so it <laughs> activates and fires at you roll the five danger constitution hmm? baby who's gonna take it 11. so somehow <laughs> it hits you and like the polarity of your outer skin deflects it into the wall and it's like happening blah 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 and they're like bouncing off and blasting the wall yeah then i, then I go up and i'm trying to do the same thing and take the gun down okay roll all your intelligence oh, dex because i have two oh dex yeah 10. Okay. You start to rip it off the ceiling. Uh-oh. And the other guy who's with you, 
oh, sick. He walks in the room after you've deactivated it. Like, oh, do I get to get this one? Is this one mine? I don't I don't have the strength to keep it on the ceiling, and it just falls, and he, his arms are out. <laughs> like Bugs Bunny trying to catch an anvil. <laughs> He's going to roll strength. He gets an eight, so he grabs it, and it, like, hits the ground, and then he picks it back up, like, trying to be tough. I got it. I got it. And you can see he's straining, but he is holding it up. I'm so badass right now. <laughs> Enzo, you've extended the bridge with Julian's credentials. So, like, I'm muttering to myself as I'm crossing these bridges. God damn, motherfucker, dude. You got damn. And just, like, so get more and more riled up, like, pissed. <laughs> you just hear floating <laughs> memories whispering in your mind, like, you and my brother. What well, family, you and me, Enzo? <laughs> We're going to run the space dragon. Dragons, dragons, dragons. All right, so did I get to the door or the panel or whatever? You get to the door, and you can open the door with Julian's credentials. And the door opens. <laughs> I'm using and, Julian's uh, credentials everywhere, then. If you can get it here, you can get it anywhere. <laughs> so you walk into a room, and in the, the two doors to the sides, going, like, around the sides again, keeping, like, that with that circular motion. And in the middle, there is a big door that is closed, has a panel in the middle of it with some interesting indentions. And that's, this room is very dark side, extreme, just lit in red. What are you trying to do in this room? Is there a terminal or something in there that I can, that I can look stuff up on? No, there is a, just a big door with the interesting indention on it. And then the two side doors. Okay, I'm going with the interesting indention door. Okay, you walk over that door and it, and it is sealed and there's no like normal terminal interface, like a normal computer thing. But there is this peculiar shape. And if you want to roll to try to understand that, let's see intelligence you can do that seven you don't understand how it's supposed to function but you do see there is like four different colored ports this was like four different keys or something you can go in there so spency you come around the corner you hear that gun going off and you run over as it's being disabled and the other guy catches it and he turns around for dude and he's like look i'm badass <laughs> and i Quickly run over to him and go, hey, watch where you're pointing that thing, man. A little bit out of the way. Trying to be very dexy and swift, trying to get around the front of the gun. Trying to remind him to be fucking careful where he's pointing it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, boss. You got it. As he struggles to, like, angle it anywhere in particular. As I walk through to where Enzo and Amy are, I, I look back at him and go, and then I look back at him and go, maybe you, should be car- maybe you shouldn't be carrying that thing at all. Whatever. You're just jealous because the robot gave me one. I <laughs> with my gun in his face and go, don't you ever think that I'm jealous. Disrespect me again and I'll show you how much that gun does for you. It's very little. You You want to roll charisma on that one? (laughs) I'm in front of him physically, so alien to nine. He thinks he's going to be tough for a second and then you get the impression he like remembers kind of what shit has gone down before with you. Yeah, boss. And he kind of walks away with the gun like away. Yeah, Yeah, so I'm just down there trying to figure out the door and then eventually you guys come and find me. You guys are standing over by that other landing port if you want to investigate further. Just gonna keep rolling. That terminal, and it is closed like the other terminals. Uh, you know that on the last terminal, Enzo was able to hack it enough to get it open. What do you do? So I'll hack the terminal to try and open up the ship. All right, give it a roll. Eight. Excuse me. So you're able to get it to open up and it's sort of like glitchy for a moment and opens and closes, open and closes, and then opens. And when it opens and stays open, you're looking out in the other landing port, exactly like the one your ship was parked in, except this other vessel is parked. This other vessel is, at looking at it, it is not a seedy vessel, but it doesn't look as ramshackle as the pirates and minor equipment you've started to become accustomed with over the last few days. It is uh, different. Yeah, I want to scan it. Scan, scan? Scan for, for valuable and or defense mechanism. Nine. You are able to figure out that the ship is registered to the Marin Science Institute. And then that's a mixed result. So that's all you do. You scan that the ship, you're able to identify what it's registered to. A private company that's known for doing crazy science shit. Have they ever worked with whatever company that was on Galatee? The one that made the drones? drone manufacturer is that the well, company you know? the research station because yeah. it's a science station probably maybe have some funding in that project but they're definitely more focused on more biohacking they're like more involved with the whatever planet had the all the biohacking on it. i don't remember what system it was 
Alpha. Alpha? Yeah. So do a lot of research on alpha and on the human genome and genetic modification. And they're more on that side of the science where the stage station was like studying stars. They were like astronomers. That means it's not CD. I break into the ship. I roll up to where, so if it, it has landing gear and I roll up to one of the legs of the landing gear and I, I roll up and I try to like hot wire uh, something to make it the hatch malfunction. So when it would retract, that it will open up. This sounds like intelligence to me though. Seven. So you are able to bang around in there and you're making progress. And at that moment, you hear some clanking footsteps from inside the ship. You've attracted some attention. Well, I'm just clink clacking away. And then the door opens. You open the door. And as that opens, there's a person in the doorway with an energy weapon aimed through the door. They are in like a military like operator's outfit, full head mask. They look like a paramilitary slash mercenary vibe. Yeah, I'm making a dash over Amy and just blade in the neck off, off the end of my gun. And then I'm taking a shot when I hit him in the neck to shoot okay, him in the face. So, so you have to close that distance. So you got to make a defy danger as he gets to shoot at you because you're moving in his room. It's 12. Well, so this person fires their, their uh, weapon as you dart back and forth and you close the distance. Roll to a stab them with your knife. As he does that, I send out a message to the crew. Just like, hostile forces detect crew. Lock and load. Crew, ru- crew wide alert. Um, is, is that dex or strength for attack? 10. When which rounds are you firing? Um, I'm going to shoot a sleep dart right into his forehead. Okay. That's six damage. So they take six damage, and then we did odds or evens for the sleep darts, right? Okay, odds or evens. Tell me uh, which one you like. Odds. Roll the two. So you hit them with the sleep dart, they take the damage, but they don't seem to fall asleep. Reggie, Ono, you're standing there with the other guy. You're both clutching these giant guns. You see Spency is fighting this person like in the doorway of their ship. It's not a clean shot. What would you like? To- well, I'm not going to fire on to Spency because if I roll bad, that that's not going to be good. I'm going to go over and I'm going to put the gun down. So who's next to me? Is it one of our crewmates? Yeah, he's the other guy who's holding the other gun, and you guys were, like, comparing giant guns. I tell this gentleman, I go, look, be careful when trying to fire this thing. And then I'm going to go run and help Spency, because I got to get in there, because there's no way I'm firing into that crowd with him. Dude, before you do that, roll charisma for me real quick. Eight. You can see he's contemplating what you said as you run off to help Spency. How are you helping Spency? I'm going to try to take the heat off of him because I have an ability that I can do that. Uh, what are you waiting for? So when you cry out to challenge your enemies, roll plus con uh, on the 10 plus, they treat you as the most obvious threat to be dealt with and ignore your companions. Pl- take plus two damage on going against them, though. So I'm going to go, Oi! If you want to fight with the real man, you got one right here. So you draw their attention so they won't yes. attack Spency. Yes. Right. Uh, yep. What does Am do in this? Well, I'm gonna go up to the paramilitary guy and just stab him right in the gut. <laughs> Eleven for one damage. <laughs> okay. Oh. So you slash them with your retractable blade arm or whatever you have. Mm-hmm. My stiletto so, hand. So now it's the guy's turn who has the giant gun behind you guys. Odds are even. Odds. Reggie's the one who told him to be careful. I rolled a three. So he. Takes the grip of it and tries to get a sight uh, and then puts it, like, angles it away as he feels like he can't get a crunch, which is the safer of the two options. <laughs> this person is going to shoot at Reggie Ono as he is drawing their aggro. Uh, so Reggie, make a defy danger. I'm definitely going to try to sidestep it, like, you know, try to anticipate his attack and kind of, like, you know, dodge it out of the way because mm. I know I have, what's it called, on the move. And that gives me a plus one to defy danger. I use those so that's essentially a plus two. Seven. They fire at you, they don't hit you, but they, you lose their aggro, and you okay. lose your bonus damage, but you don't take it. Or you can keep their aggro and keep your bonus damage, but you're going to get hit. I think I'll just keep the aggro. Okay, you want to take the hit? Here. Yeah, because I'm trying to, trying to seek. They rolled minimum damage, so you take yes. two damage. They shoot you yes. for two. Oh. That's all you got. Oh, and I got armor, so that's only one. All right, so at this point, Spence, he's, he's been cooped, and he's been ready to fight. The alien blood is a, a boiling, I had the feeling. I, I would say if I take damage, let's make a con save to see if 
Alien takes over, but I would say at this point, Butcher is in his head. You know what you have to do. Like, you're going to do it either way, is what you're saying? So I'm, like, in his face, and I basically just shot him in the face. And I'm going to try and grab him with my robot arm by the throat, and then just shoot him again in the chest. I'm just going to hit him with a normal fire full metal jacket round. Okay. That is... Dex, that's a 10. That's an 8 for damage. Nice. Because you already hit this person for like 6, right? Uh, I think they're dead. I think you, oh, yeah, plus 1. I think you blast them in the guts and they collapse over on their side. So I'm holding it with the robot arm and I just like start to squeeze and crush him, try and remove his head from his body with my hand, like by squeezing his throat. Roll strength. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a lovely. Okay, you squeeze Fancy, get all crazy eyed, and you guys all get an alert on your phone, on your communication device, about something about Spency's levels or the butcher is coming. That's what it says. The butcher is coming is the, the message. The automated message you get as Spency starts to get a crazy look in his eyes, and then he starts to crush this person's throat. And try and oh. separates their head from their. I send out to the crew. And Mo- it's, monster it's alert! Making, like a head lollipop. <laughs> so he popped his full head off. Why don't Reggie? Why don't you make a Constitution roll? Six. You Six. fucking turn and vomit on the deck, just everywhere. Every time you look back over there, you do further, and you have to excuse yourself and walk away from the gore. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. What does Amy think about this? <laughs> like, what does Amy's like data it's processing an, say? It's another day. <laughs> it's another day. I, I send an alert to the Drago Azul and it says, "Sanitation crew to the hangar bay." <laughs> <laughs> crew at the bottom of the food chain is that's been delegated to clean up duty. Rolls her eyes. It's just like, oh, <laughs> no, not again. Um, I, I want to remove this guy's tactical vest as well now that I've removed his head. I throw his head wherever now. Like, I just wanted to do that, but now I stuff his tactical vest in my backpack. Constitution against Me? the butcher. Yeah. Nine. Odds are evens. Evens. I rolled a one. You Damn. walk over, seemingly like out of your control, you walk over to the other crewman who has the big gun and you just fucking stab him in the through the eye socket with your gun blade. And pull okay. the trigger and blow his fucking brains out. Okay. The butcher does it. Okay. Just murders this crewman. And he stands there for a second with his head like half blown off. A stun mm-hmm. look on his head. And then falls over towards the weight of the gun he's holding. And collapses to the ground. Just gore. And then you regain control. I'm going to fall to one knee for a second. And then just like grab onto the side of my head. And just go. Fuck it all. Holster, holster my gun and then start to just like loot the bodies of anything I can find on them, like money or data device. And then I definitely want the task- tactical vest off that one guy. Okay. Yeah. You got the tactical vest and you can have their gun if you want it to. It's like a smaller, like a submachine gun size laser rifle. Crewman didn't have much. You could take the giant gun if you want it. <laughs> What's uh, Amy doing? I'm tearing the ship apart, just like looking for stuff and trying to download any data I could find. Okay, roll wisdom for that. What are you doing? Uh, while that's happening, I'm trying to uh, hold my stomach because I because I turn to Spency and I go, "Are you? Are, are you? Are you? Are you okay?" Honestly, I don't know, but uh... I'm dry heaving, you know, because like now the stench has gotten into my nostrils and. I'm... Okay, well, if you need me, I'll be over, over there. <coughs> I, I shake my hand that I, I was holding the gun with that I, like, shot his head off with, and I just, like, shake it, shake all the blood off, and I go, yeah, you hang out out there. I'll be out in a few. What'd you get on that roll, Amy? 11. You start rifling through the thing. You open gear lockers, and you see that there is a loadout for other people. How many? Like, slots for five other people that are all empty. And it's like a slot for a gun and a bag and a vest and a head thing. And the and the locker is empty as though it has been, you know, those people have been through. This one person was whoever was left. You take they're probably like the pilot of the team or whatever. They were sitting with the ship. And you're pretty certain that a team of five has been dispatched into the station to complete whatever their objective is. Sergeant uh, Reggie, your assistance is required on the Chip, Sergeant Reggie, come in, I go, Sergeant. I clear my throat and I go, yes, Sergeant Reggie, 
reporting for duty. Your assistance is required aboard the Mirogen Alpha 2. Uh, I'll be right there. I make my way over to Amy. Okay, you have to cross over uh, some of the gore as you try not to look, and you enter the ship, and okay. you see Amy at the controls. What do you need, uh, Amy? Protocol dictates that it would be best to remove ship from hangar in case of emergency and claim it for the space dragon. Okay. Assistance uh, is needed to ignite engines. Understood, Amy. I'll, I'll, I'll help you out. Uh, so I'm going to help Amy get these engines going here. Okay, hey, roll intelligence. Seven. You're able to power on the engines. They are not, the system is not firing at full power. There's a chance that the systems won't work when you go to operate them, but it is on. Benson, you hear the ship power on as you're sitting there trying to get your head straight. What do you do? I am uh, hopping into the cockpit and just shaking my head a little bit and grabbing hold, getting ready. To... Okay, you're get, you get into the ship with them. So the ship has partial power. What's what's up, Amy? What's going on now? Oh, I want to fly it to the other hangar. Okay, make uh somebody make a piloting roll. Let me roll the let me roll to see if the system is functional. Okay, the system seems to be functional. Yeah, a ten. Cool. You guys sit down at the controls and pull it out of this bay, and you're just flying it around and parking it in the other bay next to the uh, Draco Azul. Is that the plan? So you fly it around, and it is smaller than the Azul. The Azul takes up more than half of the landing bay, and then there's a spot where this kind of slots in, like in a corner. And you are back on the other side of the station. Sanitation crew, report for duty. You see a couple of guys come on off the Azul with buckets and shit, like did, looking dejected as you guys can't open the gangway to the new ship. So you guys repark the Mirogen, and some guys come on to clean it up. While we're hanging out here in the dock hangar, I want to try and establish contact with my network, and I want to sell the information that I learned about this place to get more hold from my network. Are you including, like, its location? Just looks. I've scanned right, the, the Inside area. pictures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, the defensive systems it had. Yeah. 